Alright, so it's time now to install the ignition on this engine. And so we'll take these two screws out. This is the ignition. And what we want to do is to put the screws back in here. And we want to pull the, the ignition all the way up. And then we want to tighten these down a little bit. They don't have to be real tight. But you'll see why. Because now we want to put the flywheel on. And if you recall from a previous video, um, we did remove this plastic ring that will go back on the crankshaft. We also have a flywheel key, which I have over here on the magnet. And the key needs to go back in place. And then we've got the flywheel itself. Now there's a magnet here on this side. And for now we're going to keep it pointed away from the ignition. And the key slot to do that we'll have to turn the crank a little bit. Put that in place. And then this particular engine we've got the starter cup. put that in place and then we have a washer and the nut. Now this washer is a special concave washer and we need to make sure we put it with the cup or the, the curved up part away from the engine so it's down. We'll put the nut in place. And then we're going to tighten this to torque specifications. Torque specifications for the flywheel nut is 400 pounds, 400 inch pounds. So, using even though this is a tug company engine, I've got my flywheel holder for a Briggs and Stratton engine. It fits on here, and I'm going to use my torque wrench, and I happen to have a three quarter inch socket, and I'm going to torque this down to 400 pounds. Uh, excuse me, 400 inch pounds. And there it is. Our flywheel nut is in place.